Hey everyone, happy Bookmas Day 17. It's actually pretty late in the day already. I'm just so, so tired from everything yesterday. I still have stuff to do. I have to get stuff ready for tomorrow. I have to do the outdoor Christmas decorations, the rest of them. And then obviously Bookmas. So, and then I also need to send Chelsea her book because I have to figure out how to set up like a UK Amazon account, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I don't live in the UK. But I gotta work on that um, so I can send her her book. So before we draw today's book, I did wanna let you guys know I put up a post on my community page asking you guys to let me know what your favorite book that you read this year was or what you would recommend I read in 2023. And that will be for my 12 in 2023 challenge. I see people just calling it the 12 challenge. So that's what I'm gonna call it for this coming year. But that is basically my 12 in 2022 for next year. So if you guys have any book recommendations, let me know. Obviously, like if there's something that you think that I would like, comment that. If there's something that was your favorite book that you want me to read, comment that. Um, you guys know what I like and kind of like what my parameters and standards are. Um, so work with that and let me know what you think I would enjoy in the new year and then I'll read one book a month just like I did this year well I almost did this year sort of failed these last few months but it's okay but you have plans to finish the books that were on my TBR I just yeah <laughs> I just won't get to them this year it's fine though it's fine all right let's draw the number I really would like a shorter book but it doesn't really matter because I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to read anyway but I promised you guys a book miss day, so hopefully we'll actually get that. You know, I'm gonna shuffle these around a little bit. Number two. Okay. Not the longest, but also not the shortest. We'll see what this is. Feels small though. It's tiny vibes. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and open this. Oh, I thought this book was bigger than it is. Okay. It is Comfort and Joy by Kristen Hanna, and it's pretty short. It's like 250, 260 pages. Um, I don't remember what this is about. Newly divorced Joy Candelaro decides to break from her ordinary life and embark on a holiday adventure. A miraculous twist of fate lands her in the charming northwest town of Rain Valley, where she meets Daniel O'Shea and his young son, Bobby. Thrown together by chance, these three souls will be touched by the true spirit of Christmas and discover what it means to be a family. Sounds cute. I don't think I've read Kristen Hanna before, but I do have her book Firefly Lane on my TBR so I guess we're gonna see if I like her writing style or not but I like that this is a lot shorter than what I thought it was so I'm excited for that hopefully I will get to it I look like I have a halo <laughs> if you followed my main channel when I first started doing booktube you know that I used to live at my grandma's house um, prior to COVID and a lot of my stuff is still here. And earlier this morning, I was thinking I need to go through books that I have read and just make sure that there's nothing that I can unhaul, like nothing that I'm holding on to unnecessarily. I'm going to actually do that. I also need to get my little toolbox because I was putting together the nativity scene that I got from my mom for her birthday. And <laughs> right now the like stakes are kind of sticking up through their shoulders and it doesn't look cute. So I'm gonna try to use a mallet to like get the stakes down. Anyway, I, that's why my hair is a wild mess because I was out in the wind. But let's start with the books, the stuff you guys care about. Actually, my toolbox is right here. So here she is. Okay, so here I have my drawers and let's see what's in here we have one by priscilla shirer this is a fantastic book highly recommend i have this law school book which i just keep for memory's sake 
not really looking to reread that. Uh, succeeding in law school also keep for memory's sake. So notebooks back there. Gosh, I totally forgot about the little seed. Dude, I forgot about this. Putting that back in also, there. I have Capital Gains by Chip Gaines. Did I like this one? I think I liked it, but not as much as the Magnolia story. Not sure I want to unhaul it though. I'm going to keep it for now. Here we have, oh, this was like an old book from school, actually. Um, basically on relationships. I have no recollection if I read it or not, but I can pretty much guarantee that there is something in here that I don't agree with because we have very different views of biblical marriage. So I'm going to unhaul that one. However, love this one. We're going to keep that. Now for the bottom shelf. Ooh, this one. I have thought about... I don't know if I want to read this one or actually like save it for a devotional one year. I think I want to unhaul it, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pot. We've got the Iliad and the Odyssey, which I love this copy. I've started it so many times and never gotten through it, but it's so beautiful. I can't, like, not keep it. Um, this is the one that I was referring to. I loved this. Footsteps of Jesus. There is, like, this Bible series that basically is, like, reading the book of Matthew, I think it was. Or maybe it's all the Gospels. But basically, this was written by the man who played Jesus. And it was actually really fascinating to, like, learn the story of when they were filming and, like, what it was like to portray Jesus and stuff like that. It was so good. One day I will reread this because it was just fantastic. The thing that I was thinking about rereading is Mere Christianity, so I think I'm going to take that with me. This is what I was thinking of also. That's my copy of Jane Eyre. I really... I just keep this for the pretty cover, but like I'd really like to get a separate copy of Jane Eyre because I don't like Wuthering Heights, so there's no point in keeping that except for the pretty cover. <laughs> now, two of my favorite books in high school, Silas Marner, loved this one. I don't know why I'm putting that over there. I'm gonna keep that. Although I'd love a reread, re that would be fun, but not right now. And The Scarlet Letter. I liked Silas Marner so much better. Ooh, that's good lighting. Silas Marner was so much better, but I also really enjoyed The Scarlet Letter. Love those. Now we have nothing to prove. I don't remember if I liked this one or if I was kind of mad about it. Let's see. I just really like the cover, I think. Yeah, not really seeing a ton of notes. I really don't know. I might keep it for now. Just because it was from my law school days. Back here. It's not supposed to be this way. This was really good. And Dreaming with God. I buddy read this with my friend who I'm currently reading Killing Kryptonite with now. So I'm going to keep that because we have like notes of what we talked about and stuff. Um, and back here are these adorable secret garden and a little princess, which I'm absolutely keeping because they're so pretty and we love those stories. So that's pretty good. I actually kind of want to reread this, so I'm going to bring this with me too. Now we have the books that literally, they're in a basket, but there's a bag around it. I swear they're not in a trash bag. Um, I just put it in a bag to like keep them safe. Anyway. We have a nice bookstore bag. Um, let's see what we have here. We have God's promises for your every need. I love these little like reference, like verse, reference, whatever you're feeling. If you want to change the world, you just look up this part and see what the Bible says about it. Love these. Um, this is one that I got in college that's kind of the same thing. And so I just never have the heart to get rid of these because they're just such great resources. This is the message, I believe. Speaking of seeds, there's there are my seeds from my church before the last one that I just showed you guys. Um, and this is something that I gave my dad, apparently. But now I have it because he never took it with him. Um, so it's mine. 
lol uh julius caesar i've read this not a huge fan but like i've read it i am gonna keep it though the golden goblet i actually loved this and this was in one of my first booktube videos which is so funny because it's like a kid's book but i loved this book when i read it i think that was 2020 maybe 2019 the shack is one that i really want to reread see what i think about it because there's so much controversy about it i liked it when i read it i am uncertain how much i believe it um just based on like theology but i would like to reread it and if i'm feeling it maybe unhaul it or not i don't know we'll see this book got me back into reading actually this was a book that gabby douglas wrote after the london 2012 olympics um, and I really hadn't been reading a whole lot since college, and this was the first book that I picked up. So I really enjoyed it. It got me back into reading, got me back into like devotionals, even though this is not a devotional. Um, just like it got me back in. Anyway, so I keep this book for that reason. Boundaries is always a good one. I'm not really looking to reread that, but I do want to keep it. Crazy Love. I think this was the first buddy read that I did with my friend who's currently doing Killing Kryptonite with me. Um, A Grief Observed. I have read this twice. The first time hit harder, but I keep it because there are notes from a very sad time in life. Um, but yeah. That is my <laughs> Duggar's book and my great aunt gave me this for Christmas. I think it was probably the last Christmas that she was with us. Um, and it's cool because I have some of their signatures and fortunately not one who shall not be named. But <laughs> I love that book uh, from my high school days. Babysitter's Handbook. When I did my babysitter training, I keep that for the vibes. Um, what is this? Who's picking me up from the airport? Did I read this? I have absolutely no idea, so I'm going to take that with me. And if I read it, great. If not, great. I don't know. Don't remember. Scone with the Wind. My grandma got me this. I would love to try these. How fun would that be to put in reading vlogs? Oh my gosh. Let's do it. I really want to reread this one. This is what I was thinking about from this basket. Um, this is just such a good book that I feel like is one that you can never get enough of. So, except for it wants to throw itself on the floor. Um, here we have a fantastic read I've read a few times from my church pastor when I was a teenager and in college. The Necessity of an Enemy. This is amazing. You have to read it. That is all I have to say. Um... this one. Ooh, we love this. This is The Kingdom Come, basically a fiction telling of what the millennium could be like. The millennium. Is that what it's called? Uh, this was my favorite of the Left Behind series, aside from Glorious Appearing. Love Tribulation Force. Honestly, wouldn't hate a reread. I might bring this with me. Here is another book that me and my friend Buddy read. Uh, the Reason for God. This is super good. Very, like, intense. You have to think about it a lot, but it's so good. Highly recommend. Uh, the Left Behind official book. We love this. I got this, I think, from my university library book sale. And, yeah, I just love it. Anything else? Oh, I just couldn't see. Oh, my Bible from when I turned 21. This was my Bible and I love it. I just keep it in here to keep it safe. Um, I have another Bible that I also love. It's just so pretty. This was from college. I like to get a new Bible every few years just to like have because I annotate and I take notes and I like to kind of have almost like a journal. Anyway, this book I got for my birthday. I honestly, I might unhaul this. And of course my law school planner that I have like notes from small groups and discipleship groups and all kinds of stuff in there. So we keep that. Okay, 
So this book I read as a devotional in law school. Love this book. Um, I also read as a devotional Present Over Perfect. I really enjoyed this as well. Probably will reread this at some point in life. Um, let's see what else there is. This is a Turkers. Yes, Uninvited. Honestly, such a good book, but I don't really remember a whole lot about it. <laughs> should I reread this? Maybe I should. We'll see. 12 questions to ask before you marry. I think I read this. Not really envisioning a reread needed right now, but uh, we'll leave that out. All right, You Are Free by Rebecca Lyons. Really loved this. All of these, I think, were devotionals during law school. This was another buddy read that me and my friend did, which was so good. Ooh, I could definitely go for a reread of this one. This book was fantastic, and I was not expecting it, and I think seeing this means I need a reread, so let's put that over there. This one is probably one of my all-time best books I've ever read, Good or God. If you haven't read this, you need to read it. Oh my goodness. Talking all about, like, there may be good things in life, but if it's not what God has for you, it's not good. So fantastic. We love this. Putting it back in here, though. And that's a lovely tour of all of the books that I have here. So definitely a few that I can unhaul, but a few that I want to reread that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> so I guess we're going to do that. Okay, it is about 7.30 on Saturday night. Tomorrow is the week before Christmas. Does that make sense? <laughs> and also, tomorrow is Hanukkah, which I realized the fact that I've not gotten my Hanukkah book at all during Bookmas means that it's going to actually be a Hanukkah book. And I'm so excited for that. Like, what if I get it tomorrow? That'd be so fun. But anyway, I got on here to say what I was doing and to ask you guys, if you have not already, you can either comment on the post on my community page or comment here either in the premiere chat or on the comments, depending on when you're watching this video, a book that you really enjoyed. I may have already asked you to do this, but comment a book that you enjoyed this year, one of your favorites that you think I would enjoy, and I will add it to my 2023 recommendations list. And if I get more than 12, then I'll just like pick the ones that I want the most. But if not, then it's just be maybe like the first 12 comments I get are what I read. I don't know. We shall see. I'm excited. I usually will take comments and then I'll randomize the books to go in what month they go. So anyway, that is all on that. My plan is to take a shower, get in comfy clothes, PJs, and read this book. I realized that I read the first chapter really, really fast. I'm already on page 17. It's only like a 240 page book. So I'm thinking I could get this done tonight for sure and possibly get in to Christmas camp that I missed yesterday and maybe even get back to the Christmas wedding guest. I don't know. We shall see. But oh my gosh, and Sleigh Bells Ring. I haven't even gotten to like read all these books that I'm so excited about. So I want to go do that, work on reading this, enjoy it, and then read whatever I want for the rest of the evening. Um, and then just love life because it's so nice to not have to worry about school. Part of me just wants to take off this next semester, but I know I can't do that financially. So we're not going to do that, but uh, I sort of wish I could. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get ready to read this. It is just about eight o'clock. I am obviously ready with my Snuggie and everything in the cozy warmth of my blankets. I have my pillow against the window because it's supposed to be so cold and this is what keeps my room from literally being the same temperature as outside. We're getting into this book and I'm just going to try to relax and I may or may not read this whole thing because now I'm feeling really sleepy. <laughs> but I'm going to try to read through this whole book. LOL. We shall see. 
but I believe in myself. I think I could do it. We shall see. But to test my theory, I've been watching a lot of people who like time how much they read uh, lately. So I think I'm going to join the fun and put a little stopwatch on my iPad while I read. So...